Hey guys, welcome to another video of Code Wrestling and in this video we are going to solve an another competitive programming question that is about non-constructible change. So the question is, given an array of positive integers representing the value of coins in your position, write a function that returns the minimum amount of change, the minimum sum of money that you cannot create. Okay, so they are going to give us some coins and we have to find the minimum amount of change which we cannot create okay so the given coins can have any positive integer value and aren't necessarily unique okay so there can be a duplicate elements in the array so for example if you are given coins 1 to 5 the minimum amount of change that you can't create is 4 okay so 1 you can create 2 you can create 3 you can create by adding this 2 but 4 you cannot create so that's why 4 is the minimum amount of change that you cannot create okay so if you are given no coins the minimum amount of change that you can't create is 1 okay so that's the that's your question and this is your sample input we have 5 7 1 1 2 3 22 and the output is 20 so that means you cannot create a change for 20 if you have uh, this many coins so i'll ask you to pause the video for a minute and try to you know solve the question by your own and then proceed to the solution okay so let's proceed to the solution so i'll take a very small example to illustrate what is the algorithm that i have written over here so what i'll do is i have taken coins just 251 and here i will show what is the minimum number of uh, change that you cannot create okay so what we'll do we have to start creating the change from a very small number that is we will start whether we can create a change for one then we will then we'll see we can create a change for two then three then four like this we are incrementing so that gives a hint that we have to first sort the coins that is given to us so the first step will be we will sort it so it was two five one so after sorting it will become one comma two comma five so that's why what i'm doing in the first step of my function i'm sorting the coins so coins dot sort so now we have two flags that is change to be created and change created. So what it will do initially the change which is already created is zero. Like right now we did not create any change. So that's why the value will be zero. So hence we have initialized integer change already created is equals to zero. And then we have another variable that is change to be created. So since we will be starting from zero and then incrementing it by one. First of all, I'll check whether we are able to create a change for 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. Like this, we are continuously incrementing it. So that's why uh, we will do a for each loop and then the change to be created will be change already created plus 1. So that the that's the logic that we will use. Okay, so now what I'll do, I'll do the for each loop on my coins. So, so initially change to be created will be 0 plus 1. Why? Because change created is 0. So, so the first change that we want to create, like means I'm starting. So the first change that, that I want to create is 1. Now I will check whether the first element which is present over here is greater than the change which I have to create. Because if it is greater, that means let's say if uh, uh, 1 was not present over here, then I can get my result saying that I was not able to create a change for 1. So that's why we will check whether the item is greater than the change to be created and then we will return that change. So if it is not, then we were successfully able to create that change. Thus, we will directly add the item number. What is the item? Item is 1. Okay, so change created is equal to change created plus 1. That is 0 plus item. Item is 1. So that means the final value is Okay, just carefully observe, I am not adding the change already created value. I am basically adding item to the change already created. Okay, so now we will increment our change to be created by 1. So change already created plus 1. So our change already created is how much? 1. So 1 plus 1 that will, that becomes 2. So now I will check whether my second element is greater than the change to be created. No, it's not. So thus, I was successfully able to create the change for second coin as well. Now the change created will be 1 plus the item. So item is 2. So 1 plus 2 that means how much? 3. So change already created is 3. Now again for each next element is 5. Now change to be created will be change created plus 1. So 3 plus 1 that means 4. Now check 
whether 5 is greater than 4. Oh yeah, 5 is greater than 4. That means I was not able to create a change for the number 4. Okay, so that means we were unable to create a change for the number 4. That means we will directly return this particular value. Okay, so that's why what I'm doing. If item is greater than change to be created, then directly return the change to be created. That means that is the number which we were not able to create. But in case if there are no coins like this whole array is basically empty. So the question has told that in that case you have to just return 1. So that's what I'm doing. I'm doing return change already created plus 1. So change already created is 0. And since the coin was empty, so for each loop will not run. And indirectly we will return change already created plus 1. That is 1. So if you talk about the time complexity of uh, this particular solution, so here first of all we are sorting so if we are using a quick sort algorithm then the complexity of quick sort algorithm is o of n log n and then again we are running a for each loop so the time complexity of for each loop will be o of n so thus adding o of n plus o of n log n and indirectly it will give o of n log n so that's our time complexity and talking about space complexity so we are not really storing anything so here the space complexity is O of 1. So that's the solution for non-constructible change. So I have already pasted all the links to this Medium article and our GitHub code in the description. So do check out. Stay tuned with us. Do like, subscribe, share and comment. You can also write us at codewrestling at gmail.com. So happy learning. Thank you.